Time now for a full look at our Labor Day weekend forecast. Meteorologist Sharon Ray is standing by with more. And is it going to be sunny weather or rainy weather, Sharon? This it weekend? depends on the day, Paulo. In fact, I'd say the sunnier day is going to be Sunday, actually Monday of the three day weekend. And then we'll have the rainier day tomorrow. And with the rain and the clouds come the cooler temperatures too. Tomorrow will be the cooler day. You can see here dropping below average in the 80s tomorrow to low 90s, possibly in a couple spots. But overall, it looks cooler tomorrow. Then those temperatures bounce right back up through Tuesday. But look at next week. We have this stronger cold front still forecast on the forecast models to come in, and that will be early Wednesday. And we're in for several days of much cooler temperatures by the middle and end of next week. Rain chances the best are Saturday, and then we dry out a little bit Sunday, only isolated chances, and then they pick up again with that front next Wednesday. So that's an overview, which I'm going to go over here in my weather forecast here. So you can see starting with right now, temperatures outside were anywhere from 79 at Kingsville to 85 at Port we have a warm morning. We had this rain inland uh, last night that's been fizzling out now, and we only have a couple of light showers left. Now, as we go through the day, those will redevelop as we get into the daytime heating. Today's still going to be pretty hot and sticky. These are the forecast temperatures this afternoon at 4 o'clock with widely scattered storms inland and isolated at the coast today. We're looking at 93 for the high in Corpus Christi, 94 Orange Grove to 95 in uh, some of our inland areas today, and near 90 at the beach. Tonight, we drop down into those 70s. This is early tomorrow morning, mid to upper 70s, a milder day tomorrow to start. And then you can see those temperatures don't climb as much tomorrow with scattered showers and thunderstorms. Some of the coastal areas will see numerous, especially early in the day. So it is going to be on the wet side tomorrow in many areas as those showers move in. The winds have come down from what we saw earlier this week, and they'll stay that way through the weekend. You can see this is today's wind forecast, and we're only looking at an east wind up to about 15 miles an hour, so much lighter winds. All right, as we go through the day today, you can see this is the projection by noon. You can see a few showers and thunderstorms starting to develop. Most of these are going to be inland today, only a spot shower or storm at the coastline. This is by 6 o'clock this evening, and you can see it's a pretty far inland toward Live Oak and Duval County with some uh, storms possible. And then as we go through tonight, we have that tropical wave coming in from the Gulf. We've been talking about this all week, and it's still forecast to come in and you can see this is tomorrow early morning. Watch as that rain increases across the area through the morning and into the afternoon. Some pockets of heavy rain are possible tomorrow uh, as we go through the afternoon and then it ends and Sunday looks drier with just an isolated rain chance as that wave pushes out of here. Potential rainfall, I'd say a half an inch to an inch, but some of you might see anywhere from an inch to two inches if you get under one of those pockets of heavy rain. So that potential is there and we could sure use it. The weekend forecast then, we start drying out Sunday, only an isolated thunder shower. Labor Day is looking hot and sticky and drier. And then next week we're watching that next cold front come in for Wednesday.